Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Freya and today I use the Wilderness Palette by Beauty Bay. Now this is £20 and we have 13 mattes and 7 shimmers including right at the top here this one called Ray which is a duochrome. So it's like yellow with a yellowy colour with a, a green shift. So you can see there that the shimmers do look a bit messed up. They are very soft. The mattes are a little bit powdery but okay. Um, I just really love using this and I'm looking forward to using the mustards and some of the other shimmers um, or the blues doing a blue look. I think that could be fun. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this video and uh, let's get into the makeup. So I've already primed my eyes with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm going to do my face after I've done my eyes because there might be fallout. Uh, so here we go. The first shade I want to use is Ivy, this lovely dark green here. I'm just going to use this Beauty Bay Small Blending Brush. So I'm just going to start placing it in the crease area, sort of stamping it down. It's a very buildable shade. Just want to wing it a little bit there. Just going to take a little bit more, just build it up again. I want it to be quite dark. I'm just going into the outer V. Keeping that winged out look. Okay, another thing I got when I got this palette was the Sigma, um, Sigma Switch. So, I just want to see how this works. It just says to buff it over the Sigma switch and it should take off the colour. I mean that's stained, I expected that. It's not a total clean. So, I'm now just going to start blending that. Just around the edges. very lightly and I'm just holding the tip there. And these colours blend out lovely. Not much. Not much work to be done. I'm not too worried if this corner gets um, a little bit you know, crazy. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. It's really nice. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm just going to, because I might need that blending brush again, so I'm just using that colour switch there. And I just want a really small, like, fluffy brush. Actually, I'm going to go for this, um, this is just a, a short sort of packing brush, but I'm just going to use that and take Poppy, this real lovely red here. And this I'm going to tap off, just going to place that just above. Just above the green. Could go horribly wrong, get muddy, but we will see. Oh, 
I am really happy at the minute because in uh, 2019 I suddenly gained loads of weight. I think it's because I had uh, dated somebody the previous year who um, you know, made me feel quite low about myself and after in like so mid 2019 I was a size 8 to 10 UK which I believe is a size 6 in the US and by the end of 2019 no kidding this is like in, within six months I had gained three stone I had gone up to a size UK 16. No idea what it, that is in the US. But, um, you know, and I was just comfort eating, I guess. I wasn't exercising. I had stopped that. And I just comfort ate. And, you know, I had all these flare ups because of fibro, which, you know, I got in 2016. I became ill with that. And, um, it was just really hard. I started trying to lose weight in the following year, 2020. So end of 2019 when I realised, and I don't know how I didn't realise I had got bigger, but I didn't. You know, um, I don't remember any specific time that I thought, oh my god, I'm gaining weight. I just didn't care. I didn't care at all. My self-esteem, my self-worth. I'm just tapping and blending this ever so gently. All that had gone out the window. I just didn't care about how I looked or anything, you know, to do with myself. And um, it, it was just awful time, really, you know, feeling that way. And so when I sort of noticed, which was at the end of 2019, once I had gained all this weight, I bought myself a Fitbit and I was right, you know, I've got to try and lose this. And I would do really well and I'll start losing weight because I've got a treadmill and I'll be going on that. And then all of a sudden I'll be back up again because I'll like get a flare up and then I wouldn't exercise for a week or two because of the flare up and so it's like an ongoing cycle and sometimes I would comfort eat again and my favourite thing was like those goo you know I got lots of these little pots here which I find very useful there I got some hairpins in and some q-tips so um, you know I, I would eat a lot of them <laughs> and uh, which was really sad because all my clothes, and I refused to buy like bigger clothes other than like, um, like I love misguided if you haven't like seen and noticed. I do like their stuff because they are like 90s like style, you know, they're more baggier. Um, I do have like lots of other sports clothes. But these ones I just like and I'm like wearing them because even though I got them in size 10, I've got an itch there, even though I got them in size 10, I could still wear them. And um, anyway, now I'm like losing weight, it's starting to all come off. I'm now down to a size 12. Um, everything's gone down like inches. I'm so happy that this is like finally happening because um, all my clothes, like I said, I love my clothes. I like got like steampunky clothes. It's like more Victorian style than the like steampunk. Although I was into steampunk for quite a while, but I got these like goth Victorian style clothes, like band, also like vintage 1950s, 40s, 20s, love those styles, you know, so I got band, I got uh, notoriously, was it, no, necessarily evil, and uh, Dracula clothing, I've got lots of clothes like that, so you know, when I start wearing them again, 
I mean, hopefully you would tell by my face as well. But when you see me wearing those clothes again, I have reached my goal. So I currently have about a stone and a half to lose, which really isn't much. So I'm just taking that ivy again on that same blending brush. I'm just going to re-intensify there and just blend over. So that has muddied a bit and I was expecting that. I mean that's fine because I want this like red hue rather than a real red, you know. I just want to try the red and I want to try the greens. I want to try it all. I'm just now blending again into that red. That's kind of creating a bit of a purple as well, which I like. So I'm really happy that it's finally all falling off. And, you know, looking at my stats on Fitbit, seeing that my BMI has dropped and my like weight has dropped. I mean, I'm sleeping better as well. I mean, I've still got fibre, I still feel pain every day, you know, but it's not as bad at the moment. And I strongly believe that, you know, if you feel good about yourself physically, you don't feel as much pain, you know? So, yeah, I cannot wait to start wearing my clothes again and to feel like me because I haven't felt like me and I know it's only been like two years almost or maybe even two years since I've gained the weight and I've been struggling with it but um, you know it feels like such a long time and uh, I, I just I'm just so excited so excited to be getting back into my style yeah I mean I still have my like um, baggies and like exercise clothes and stuff I like them too I still have them but it'll be nice that I don't have to wear them and also my heels I've got lots of Victorian style boots uh, DM type boots you know things like that um, but especially my like heeled like you know um boots like knee-high boots and stuff and my different style tights i've got lots of really cool pattern tights and fishnets you know things like that i haven't been able to wear and i've got so many corsets i have probably no kidding about 50 maybe even more corsets maybe even 80 I am not sure I have to count them one day I have to show you my corset collection but I've got all these corsets which I haven't been able to wear in such a long time and corsets as well which have like matching bolero type things like leather ones high collar you know that very like Victorian gothic like look oh my coats tight fitting or fitted coats as well which are done in like victorian styles i mean i am so looking forward to just wearing them and um so i'm hoping by halloween i'll be back down to a size 10 be amazing i don't see why that can't happen because i'm not eating any sugar so i've cut it well you know i'm having like perhaps Horlicks, I know that's like an old person's drink, but it's vitamins and stuff, so, you know, um, that is sugary, I guess, but, um, you know, I'm not buying, like, sugary foods for myself, I'm not eating them, and um, I'm having protein shakes as well, uh, trying to eat, like, foods rich in vegetables, I'm walking my dog more now that the restrictions have res uh, like lifted, you know, and um, and like going on the treadmill and lifting weights, which I have at home, and other exercises like yoga. So I'm doing all that stuff. So I don't see why it can't happen. Let's use something else. So I want to use a different colour. Oh, 
I love that. So I want to go into Twilight, this very royal blue here. Just take a little bit and I'm just using, I want to see how well I can use this Sigma switch. You know, um, let me just move my chair a minute. So I want to see how well that will do with keeping with minimal brushes. Especially if I, as I haven't cleaned my brushes yet from the last couple of times I've used them. So I'm just going over that out of here. Take a little bit more. And I'm just digging it in. I'm just going to use that Sigma switch again. Start blending. If you hear noise in the background, that would be my children. They are off school now for six weeks. And it is impossible to keep them quiet. So just lightly tapping around there. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that ivy, just a dab. Just re-intensify that green. Oh, I really like that. Very dark. Very dark. And take more of that green and just tap it around there, mushing them all together. Well, so far, this color switch is brilliant, but I don't want to use that on the red at the top here. So I'm just going to use that small, um, I don't know whether I said it was Morphe, it's a Beauty Bay brush again. I'm just going to blend around the edges again. And I'm just going to teeny tiny dab of that red. Not too much. I just want to re-intensify that again. I'm also using the Sigma switch just to get any colour off. Just bringing that into this inner corner. I've got, uh, this is called Shade Out, Shade and Brush, Beauty Bay again. So I'm using their brushes with their palette. I'm just going to take some NYX Glitter Glue. Only a very small amount. I don't know whether you can see that there. Just a small amount. I'm just going to tap that onto the lid. I was going to use concealer and do a cut crease with concealer but I haven't used this for such a long time. Just cutting out That out there, making sure there's no bumps. Right, the first shimmer I am going to use is going to be lime. Now I love a lime green, so I'm going to take that on there. Along the using the sticky part, 
and I'm just going to start placing that all. Oh, it goes on really nice. Oh, goes on like a dream. Make sure I'm getting everywhere there. That is really impressive. Look at how intense that is. And yeah, there's texture on my lip, uh, lids, lips. There's texture on um, my lids there. You could clearly see that. I'm a 43 year old woman. There's gonna be some of that. My lids ain't as tight as they used to be. That is lovely. I've got itching going on. I think it's that um I think it's that sunscreen. I don't know. So I'm gonna use the other end and I'm going to pick up see what is this like? Let me just swatch this. It's um called heat. It's that red. I mean that's not a crazy light shimmer. But I was going to choose the red. But you know what? I'm going to go for Ivy. Uh, not Ivy. Use Ivy. I'm going to go for Moss. This like darker green. And I'm just going to take that on the other side. Now the shimmers, when you pick them up, you've got to be quite light because you dig into the shades a bit. I'm just going to start placing that here. This one's not as easy to pick up. Oh, there we go. At the top here, I've got a little bit of that moss going over, and that is fine. I like that. That's all right. Okay, and now I'm just going to start blending the two together. which doesn't take a lot, as you can see. How simple was that? I really love that. Now, I just want to take a really small, so here, I've got this like pencil, detail like pencil brush, and I'm just gonna pick up Ray. Now, this is a duochrome, and I just really want to use the duochrome. So that's a lot of kickback from that. So I would be really careful. I'm going to have to press that back in. It's all over my finger. Okay, and I'm now using NYX Dewy Finish Set and Spray to just spray on it there. And I'm just going to put that in the in a corner. Just here. It's fine that it's going down a bit, that's what I want it to do. Obviously I need to do my face and the other eye, which I will do off camera. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. This other little brush. Have a teeny tiny, there we are. So this is a ColourPop E28 brush. I'm just going to use that. It's really tiny. I'm just going to use that just 
also blend around the outer edge a little bit just to soften it and blend it into the skin mm. and um, now I just want to get that first blending brush we'll take a bit of twilight and ivy at the same time tap it off I'm just going to tap onto this out of V and just go over that edge there just to help merge them a little bit and to darken up that corner just using that colour switch that's where this colour switch has turned out to be really handy Taking a little bit of ivy again. Mm. So these are taking a little bit of twilight again, just on its own. And, um, yeah i'm gonna leave it at that i think these shimmers though this one here I, there's just this really harsh line there so i'm just going to take a little bit of that moss i'm just gonna sort of tap it and drag it into those shimmers i think we'd be using a glitter glue that can leave harsh lines but you know, if you just get a little bit of the shade and the shimmer, just start teasing that end, then um, that sorts out the problem. Yeah, I just want to take that ray and I just want to bring that all the way across the top here just to sort of outline it a bit I think that looked quite nice yeah I think I'm going to spray the brush again for that I'm hoping my palette doesn't fall off there's uh, not a lot of room here so I'm just going to give my brush a spray and start just lining around just above the shimmers. Just bringing that around, just to give it more of a more of a straighter like line there or curve. Mm. I do like that. So I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, do my face makeup and um, I'll be back to do the under eye. Okay, so I finished the other eye. I put my foundation, contour, blush, highlights. On. So for my waterline, I use the ColourPop Spare Time Gel Liner from the Raw Beauty Christie collection. And um, yeah, I put a wig on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite hard to do your makeup sometimes with a wig, so. You know, sometimes I just like to do it without and then put the wig on after. So anyway, let's get back to the eyes. So I want to do the under eye and I'm going to use that small Colourpop uh, E28 brush that I used. 
and I want to do something a bit different so I thought about using this heat that's what I like to use just for the first third of the lower lash line so just want to bring that there just so it could kind of match the top a little bit and it is a shimmer because I want it to have this shimmery look in the first half there. I want to go into a green so I want to use this um, eucalyptus here this darker green actually you know what I'm gonna because I've already picked it up so I'm actually gonna put that on the outer third just dab it on I've seen a little bit of fallout but nothing major just then not enough to um, worry about picking up I'm just gonna place that there and just connect it mm. So it'll blend in a moment I just want to get the color down this one's quite powdery so I'm a little bit concerned that it might brush off uh, this eye I found that here was some patchiness when I was doing this eye um, it may be because my uh, eyelid primer had dried down so that could be the reason there's no stickiness there but yeah, you just have to see. Okay, so um, here there's always this little bit of patchiness because my eye dips in. It's very hard to get that bit, so I'm not bothered about that. That's just the shape of my eye and surrounding my eye, the way it goes. So I'm just going to do a quick colour switch there. And now I want to go for this like light green this color called leaf i'm going to tap that and i'm just going to put that in the middle there to connect i thought this might come up lighter um although it is oh there we go just needed to put on a bit more I think with um, this palette when you're doing under your eye it would probably be a good idea to put some eyelid primer down there, eyeshadow primer, eyelid primer, what am I saying? Right now I'm just going to use the colour switch just to wipe off, I'm making sure I do a good job, let's see whether I can use this to blend. I don't want to smoke it out too much. Uh, Maybelline uh, Colossal Go Extreme Leather Black Mascara. But my top lashes they really did look nice but because of how strong this makeup is um you know uh, you couldn't really see them which is another reason why i'm wearing false lashes but also because i do like them and i found out last time i use my false lashes uh, in my previous video I found out that I did miss them and I wondered why I hadn't been doing them Love Jasmine Creamy Lipstick by Odin's Eye You know what, I'm going to line my lips first So I'm just going to line my lips with this Level Beauty lip liner I need new lip liners See, I never used to line my lips at all. Not really. I mean, I have in the past. 
but I never used to line them so I just bought some cheap lip liners and I do have some good ones but I just bought some cheap ones and I haven't really bought any more so definitely something I need to get This is such a good uh, colour match as well. And that's the finished look. So I'll zoom you in to my eyes. So here is the eyes. Excuse the lashes. They look a little bit wonky. I really enjoyed using this palette. I found that um, there's quite a bit of kick up. Some shadows are drier than others. You know, they work fine. Um, I think it's best to use a more tacky eye primer rather than one which is too dry because this I put on not long after putting my eye primer on. Five, within five minutes I started on this eye. And that was absolutely fine, whereas this eye is a bit patchy and that had dried down by the time I did this eye. So maybe that's the reason, I don't know. But um, the shimmers, you got to be really careful with because you just end up wasting product if you dig too hard with your brush. I mean, they're lovely colours, lovely shades, lovely shimmers and mattes they blend so well um and for 15 pounds can't go wrong you know and people are saying this is such a big palette it's not really that big you know it's not i mean yeah it's big pans but to be honest if you're getting all that kick up it's probably better to have big pans <laughs> but um yeah really good i really loved using it and um i hope you like this look please like subscribe comment and um i'll see you soon